The first one, sitting quite, quite low down on his leg, stopping him pulling the towel, so I haven't sat on it. So he's still trapped. He's not going to come and, and throw himself in like this because anytime he does, he's opening him up. I've got, so this is my, my position. Not, not here, squeezing his leg, opening it up. So it's knee bar, knee bar, and it up. Here, hand on the hip, elbow to the mat, and I'm going to walk, 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 until I put it full. Fits. Yeah, he's got no bridging power, bridging me off or rolling me over is almost impossible. And then instead of taking my foot out, like swinging my leg around, which is going to be like this, or if he's closing his feet together, I can't swing my leg around, I can pull it straight out instead. Much easier when you have this control open. To his foot, pointing my knee open, up, not around. Yeah, this. The second one, <coughs> from here, same idea. Instead of sitting with my elbow to the mat here, my, in, my end goal is chest to chest, so I'm going to go elbow across his head, like this. Same thing for now, open his knee up. And then, as this arm comes, which is going to run to my chest, I'm going to go for the underhook. Either I'm going to pull my knee out and go for the quarter mount here. If it's an option, if I can get this, my foot comes in to his calf, push, stretch his legs, put my feet to the mat. If I sit to this position, here, he's still got my whole leg on the hook, chest to chest. Now I can choose between passing to the mount or passing to the side. So here, push him over, make him uncomfortable. Comes into the calf again. Either I go up to the mount or I go to the, to the calf, push. Sit through. Okay. Super.